What's happening, all my fellow traders? Got some breaking news for you guys. It's official. March was my biggest month to date. And this first quarter of 2018 has been my best quarter to date. So broke two records here this first quarter. I'm I'm speechless. I don't I don't even know what to say or or where to go with that or how to take it. Uh it's it's just been an, an amazing, you know, run. I know, you know, not being negative, I know it can't be that way forever. But you know, I'm gonna enjoy it while I have it. And you know, one of the the best feelings is that you guys got to see it happen and unfold live in the chat room. You know, and you know, you saw me at my best and you saw me at my worst. Um, but it, it's really been an incredible ride. So we'll talk a little bit more about that in a minute. I just wanted to get that off my chest so that I could focus on the trades that we took today. Um, and today was pretty slow. I didn't really think we were going to have much. You know, this is the day before um, the holiday. We had a long week. Um, a lot of people on spring break this week. Some on spring break next week. Um, a lot of people are taking vacation. You know, the, vol the volume was noticeably light this week. It may be a little light next week. Uh, but, you know, I didn't really think we were going to have a whole lot going on. Um, but <clears throat> I said this morning that I needed to try out my, my SureTrader account. I haven't traded out of it since October. And I had wired some money out the other day because I wanted to have, that was the money I wanted to put in this new broker, the CME group, you know, if it worked out. And I'm I'm still, you know, trying to get the right information on that. Um, so I knew that I won't have all of this stuff in place on on Monday. So I wanted to try my sure trader account because that, you know, every day I hear about problems with this execution, orders rejecting and all that. So I said, let me try. And GME was setting up real nice uh, pre-market. You know, so I, I got in. And I didn't have any trouble getting in. Um, you know, this was just after 8 o'clock. What, what time was it? 8.20 in the pre-market. No problem getting in. Um, and no problem taking my first profit here. No problem taking my second profit here. You know, I wanted to get twelve fifty, but it just just wasn't getting there. So I got, I took some off here, and you know, I went ahead and took some off. I took the rest of it off before the open. I don't like holding through the open, especially in a small account, uh, because I can't give it a whole lot of room. And I didn't want this to hold through the opening and this thing blow up on me. And you see this candle here, this might have, you know, made me take it off. But I just waited and said, okay, we'll reset. So no no issues with, with this trade. Um, this was textbook. You know, we had, this was on earnings from the day before. And, you know, it wasn't as positive as people made it out to be. So I was expecting this to sell off a bit. And we were under the moving averages and everything. This was a 52 week low. So once we started to crack that, you know, I was ready to, to jump in this thing. We dipped below it here. We couldn't push up. So I was expecting to dip below it and run. And that's exactly what it did. And just took profit at 13, you know, whole dollar mark. Because once you get through your support, and resistance from the daily chart, then you need to, you know, I, I defer to my whole and half dollar marks. So I wanted 13 and then 1250. You know, that's kind of what I was looking at. 
Now, I only went back 52 weeks, and that's all I've been doing lately is going back 52 weeks. You know, using the, the daily chart, 52-week daily chart, to find my support and resistance. If it breaks a 52-week low or a 52-week high, then I'm treating it as a blue sky breakout or breakdown or a bottomless pit. So that's why, you know, I did the way I did. So if you go back to, say, a 10-year chart or something like that, you'll probably find some support and resistance down here, some pivots down here. You know, but that's, I kind of got away from that. And it's been working pretty good so far. So, you know, I waited for the open. Right here, we had this, this wicked opening candle. Did pretty much what I thought it would do. Run up and test the 20 here. But, you know, being in the small account, I'm not going to be too aggressive. You know, the aggressive move was to get in up here on this rejection you know anticipating the sell-off but no i didn't want to do that i waited until we got the opening range low so i got in and the trade was working beautifully when it hit 12 20 and we were sitting there and chatting we watched this you know it just it went crazy and there was somebody there that did not want this to go anywhere and it's turned around and pushed back up. Now, yeah, ideally, I would have wanted to take take it off the table here. But I wanted to give it an, a shot. You know, I hadn't taken profit yet. So I needed to give it a shot. And, you know, I was using the opening range low as my guide. You know, but once I realized we weren't, going, we weren't coming back, um, I went ahead and took it off for a small loss. And this is exactly how you, you know, I manage the small account. Only 300 shares on a $13 stock. You know, that's not bad. What's that, a little over $4,000? You know, I got in this trade. And in a minute, you're going to see why it actually was smart. Because I didn't realize this until I started doing my you know, putting this together for my recap. But you'll see that in a second. But if this setup happened tomorrow, well, market's closed tomorrow, but if it happened Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, if it happened three months from now, I would still take it because this is my setup. But this is why I don't typically like to trade lower dollar stocks because it doesn't take much for somebody with some money to move this and or to hold it up or to pretty much do what they want to do with it and it's pretty much what we had today here so finished uh, 134 46 and that's really not bad because I made a mistake in wiring out I wired out a thousand dollars too much. I wanted to leave about eighteen hundred bucks in here, but I wired out a thousand too much and only ended up with seven hundred and eighty and fifty seven seven hundred and eighty dollars and fifty seven cents. That's what I made this trade off of. I didn't even know the little bit of equity and buying power I had when I took it, but we made. After commissions, 134.46. And yeah, we're back in Sure Trader. We back with these healthy commissions here. And you know, but it is what it is. You know, it's what I had to deal with when I started. And you know, it's what a lot of people have to deal with. So, you know, you can't cry over spilt milk. You you work with what you got and you know, keep on going. But this is a 17% growth in one day on $780 on a simple, you know, simple strategies that we trade every day. Simple, simple strategies. And even with a, a stop out, we managed our loss. So 
you know, 134.46 is nothing to sneeze at when you're trading out of a $780 account. You know, so this should be fixed Monday. I should have the other thousand in there because I and I couldn't mess with the transfer, so I had to send a thousand dollars there. So we'll see how long it takes them to to process it, but um, that'll be something we can watch. You know, while we while we're doing this. Now I did try to take this trade in my um speed trader account and this is what i did in it i just i got in you know 927 um a little bit earlier than this you know i got in right before the the open because i was looking for it to start to sell off or either pop up and you know sell off and that's pretty much what it did the plan was to hold on to this all day but I didn't like the price action I didn't like what I saw when it hit so I took it off I knew this wasn't gonna work and this isn't the stock the type stock that I would do an all-day hold on you know I would not do an all-day hold on a $12 stock $13 stock just wouldn't do it um, so you know we tried it it didn't work we only you know picked up 360 bucks on it but you know hey you know you got it you're a trader you you know you see something going that that might give you something so you take it if it doesn't work you cut it you know don't sit there and try to force it you cut it off and let it go so this was nice, you know, a real nice, um, little trade for the morning, but the day was just boring. There just wasn't a whole lot going on, wasn't a whole lot moving, so just left it alone and, and left it at that. All right, so this is just a duplicate of the previous slide I don't know why I doubled it so you know how did we get to this point how did we get to having the best or how did I get to having the best month and the best first quarter you know it all started in the fourth quarter you know I had a a trying year to say the least you know, the year been a struggle. My trading was suffering a bit because, you know, me starting the community back in January and, you know, trying to find my place in all of this. So I got to the point where I felt comfortable running the community. I had made some changes so that I wasn't overworking myself and I made things a lot simpler. So I was determined to get back to the basics in my trading. And I started that fourth quarter promotion where I started back over with $1,500 to really get back in touch with my roots. And obviously the first couple of weeks, I experienced the lowest of lows. But throughout that quarter, I didn't quit. I didn't give up. Even though, you know, most of the people that started with me quit, you know, because I guess they didn't want to see me struggle, but that's what it's all about. You got to you got to witness the struggle. You got to feel the struggle. You know, if you don't feel the burn, it's not real. So, you know, had to I went through that. I didn't quit. I kept going. I did what I had to do to turn things around. And by the end of December, you know, we we had um finished with some good strong momentum so then came the first quarter and what well, our focus was win the first quarter you know let's go out there and let's win that first quarter and you know this is the picture that I posted out there where our 
our local South Carolina team, small private college, you know, Wofford, beat the mighty North Carolina Tar Heels. The, the big basketball juggernaut, they beat them. And they beat them because they won the first half first. I know those, they're split in the first and second halves, but they won the first segment. They won the second segment. They won the first half, and they maintained and won the second, and they ended up winning the game. So my focus was to win the first quarter, make sure I kept that momentum going, and win that first quarter. So that was my mentality going into January. So you, And you see January... Um, we had some modest games, had a couple of big, you know, a big week here. I mean, a big day here, you know, a couple of big days here. But as we got closer, things started to pick up. We kind of kept that momentum going. And I ended up, I had five red days here this month. But ended the month, 16, 378, 90. So this was a pretty big month. This was the months that I was turning before I started the community. This is kind of what I was doing when I was, you know, on the other side over there. And I was focusing more on my trading. And so came February. And, you know, February was a little bit better. We were hot and heavy in earnings season. And, you know, here I had five red days, you know, had a zero day here where I didn't take a trade. But still, did better this month. We had a month with less days. I had more red days. And still beat it by a couple hundred dollars. So 17 grand for the month of February. And so came March. And... When I looked at this, I stepped back and looked at this, I only had one red day in March. I Now, that's not to say I didn't come close because you guys know I was real close to having some pretty bad red days, you know, if I didn't come back from lunch and turn it around in the afternoon. But, you know, one red day for the, the whole month of March. Now, I know this is this is not the norm. And I'm sure I'm going to have more red days starting next month because, you know, trading in a smaller account is going to be a little bit more of a challenge. And I probably won't be able to focus on the swing trades or the all-day holes, you know, that I trade out of my swing account. I may not be able to give it as much focus, you know, trying to, to really focus on the small account. But... You know, we're gonna do it. You know, we're gonna we're gonna um you know put our nose to the to the door and keep on well not nose to the door. You guys know what I'm saying. You know, we're we're gonna give it a, a good go. And the reason why I'm doing that, I'm starting over I'm starting in a small account, is because I have most of the traders in our room are trading out of a small account or they're trying to gain some consistency and watching me make you know a thousand two thousand sometimes three thousand dollars a day it it doesn't you can't connect to that so if I go back and I'm trading smaller size and I'm really focusing on developing the skill then you guys are gonna see that model and and that's what it's all about you know, hell, I I could lose half my account before the month's over. But if I do, you guys need to see that, and you need to see what it takes to get back to where you need to be. You know, so <clears throat> it's no pressure on me now because, you know, we did the biggest month, my personal best, 31,652.11 for the month of March. And the first quarter, we turned 65 to 26, 76. You know, for me, that, that's the best. That's the best. 
And like I said, the, the special thing about it was you guys in the community were there with me the whole time. And, you know, I wouldn't trade that for for anything in the world. So it's it's been an amazing ride, an amazing journey. And I'm ready to continue to build off of that. You know, ready to continue. So anybody, if you don't have a big account, if you have a big account and you can't and you're not consistent, you can't consistently make profit. You know, I was talking to one guy the other day. He's like, yeah, I can make, you know, I'll make two or $3,000 trade, but then I have, you know, all these thousands of dollars in losses. Well, you're not consistent. You got to start from the beginning. You got to trust the process. If you trust it and allow it to work, it'll get you to where you want to be. You know, go back and look at my profit league when I first started trading way back when. You'll see I was taking $50, $70 trades. Some I was making $30 and $40 on. You know, but I was becoming consistent. You know, if you're red on the week, consistently red, 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 and then you come in and you start over and you start building your foundation and you end up making $50, $75 a day, at the end of the week, you're going to be green. It may not be big money, but it's damn sure better than red. And you build off of that. You don't have to stay there. Nobody says you have to stay averaging $50, $75 a day. That's just where it starts. And you build up from that. You know, it wasn't long before I was averaging $750 a day from $75 a day. You know, so, but I had to trust the process. You got to trust the process. So we're starting um, April 1st, no, April 2nd. You know, we're starting. I know I got the jump today, but I had to make sure this thing worked. But, you know, we're going to hit the ground running. And if you guys want to join me, and it's not a challenge. It's not a small account challenge. That's not what this is. This is real deal trading. You know, if I lose, the money's coming out of my pocket. You know, this isn't this isn't um cyber money or cryptocurrency or whatever the hell you call it now. This is hard, cold hard cash. And I don't care how little it is, you know, nobody wants to lose. So we're gonna be working hard to make sure that everybody develops the skill that they need in order to be successful independent traders and that's what it's all about so you guys if you have any questions comments concerns anything about what we do just give me a, a shoot me an email if we need to talk we can chat but you want to get on board and you know, so we can get this thing going. <clears throat> so the sooner you sign up, the sooner you get access to all the videos. There's a few uh, small account foundation videos that we have on the member website that you want to go through before we get started. So why not spend a long weekend, you know, learning? All right, guys, so that's going to do it for me. You guys enjoy your long weekend. Um, be safe. And we will see you. Well, I'll be back on um, Sunday morning to do our watch list. Um, and then for those of you that don't join us on Sunday morning, I will see you guys on Monday. <laughs>